Hello everyone. Uh, according to the clock on this game, there should be a play happening inside this place. It's in Guberland, it's in the tavern. It should be happening in about... Now. And now, the Guberland players present the death of Emperor Tristan. Emperor Tristan and Lord Abriel have been arguing for hours over the new taxes. You don't seem to understand, Abriel. I need these new taxes to protect the safety of the people. What you need the money for is to protect your own bank account, Trislin. I know it, and you know it. You don't have to play your dance for me like you do the other lords. I've known you for too long. Careful with your tongue, Abriel. Remember who is Emperor. And don't forget, Emperor Trislin, that it was I who paid the money for your personal guards. Without them, you probably wouldn't have lived long enough to become Emperor. I am the one who sent Acklandor to conquer the Caesars. A wonderful move, if I must say so myself. Meanwhile, the Emperor's personal guards are having a meeting of their own. Why must Tristan wear us like jewelry? He doesn't appreciate the service we provide to him. I don't think he knows who is really in charge anymore. He will not go anywhere without us. Where we refuse to go, Trislin can't go. This is treason! Don't think you're so far above us, Lefrey. The other day, at the request of Lord Abriel, Lefrey and I refused to take Trislin to the Room of Lords with him. They were due to vote on the new taxes, and without the Emperor there, they voted against them. Certainly, if Trislin had been there, the Lords would have voted to support him. <laughs> Did I tell your tongue to waggle, Rayloff? No, sir, my lord Abriel. That's right, and for a reason. I don't want to find the Emperor's guards on the slaver's block before I'm done with them. Yes, sir, my lord. It seems that Trislin is not going to play nice with us. I'm afraid more drastic measures are required. Hmm. What is required, my lord? Lord Abriel and the guards secretly plan late into the night. The next day, Lord Abriel and Emperor Trislin are met in the halls by Trislin's guards. Raylof, what is the meaning of this? I'm sorry, my lord, but we can no longer allow you to bring this empire to ruin. Raylof, you traitor! Guards, seize him! It is time for you to pay the people, Trislin. <laughs> <laughs> This was just the beginning of the fall of the Ursanian Empire. It continued to seethe with corruption until the great cataclysm finally spelled the end of the Empire. Ladies and gentlemen, the Gugolin Plains. And that was a little bit of history before the great cataclysm occurred. Just a little bit of something something so that way you don't have to go searching for it yourself. Come in! Come in! And we're just gonna spend a night at the end here. I don't think that we will have any sort of encounters with anything to do with that except for the Jesus that they talked about. We'll probably be running into them soon enough, but as far as that goes, that's just ancient history there, pretty much. It's all stuff that happened ways, ways back before the Great, uh, the Great Cataclysm. Still, it may yet have relevance in the future. So I decided, hey, let's show it. Anyways. Let's see, where do we want to go today? There's two paths that we can take. We have a map here, one to the south, and one falling around to the north. Uh, the way to the south looks like it might be potentially blocked off, so we'll head out that way first. Then we'll see what lays around the southern edge of Guberland. And then we'll head out north into the wilderness and search the island pretty much. Easy there. 
you don't want to take falling damage. It hurts, and the game hits you stiffly for it, even if you take the smallest of drops. Also, if you hear some background noise, don't worry, it's not the microphone or what have you. For some reason, this specific area seems to have a, like a small, odd thing in the background that distracts you a bit with the noise. I don't know how to be able to turn it off or what have you, but uh, it's just that spot right there, this part of Gooberland. Let's see, sparks. Bounce around until you hit something or dissipate. It's five sparks, seven damage each, five to twenty damage. Cost of two, cost of five. I'm gonna see how this works in close combat. Good. And you. Five sparks, six damage each. Last ten minutes. A uh, minute is a second, just so you know. So that's actually a pretty hefty chunk of damage there. The problem is getting it so that you can target multiple targets at the same time. That could be a pain. Let's see, any more spells than this? Nope. And they're bandits, so I doubt that they're gonna be chucking spells at our like Ready as always. That actually do any damage elementally to us, so elemental protection doesn't have any sort of relevance, I don't imagine. And I would love to get a chance to cast this, but I don't know if I can select my target every individual time, and that could create a problem. This'll do. Anyways, I'll give that a shot, and increases a character's chance to hit should negate an equal level curse spell. 